Qualcomm 6G is already well underway, but industry reactions, particularly among carriers, have been largely negative, citing concerns about the high potential costs of upgrading with unclear return on investment. But this ignores the tremendous potential of 6G to generate revenues that could actually dwarf anything delivered by previous GSMA standards. The key lies in 6G's ability to provide essential infrastructure for the upcoming Industry 4.0 Industrial Revolution. Now, digital industrialization demands a network that can scale effectively to accommodate a staggering number of increasingly tiny IoT devices, many of them smaller than a sugar cube. Currently, there are around 20 billion IoT devices worldwide, and by the end of the decade, this number is projected to exceed 50 billion. But as industries worldwide are pulled into the global digital industrial vortex, the IoT growth curve will rise exponentially. My best guess is that we should hit that magic trillion device mark between 2035 and 2040. 5G technology can't handle that number of devices, but 6G can. It's literally what it's designed to do. But this critical advantage seems to have been lost on carriers who remain hyper-focused on monetizing consumer services, thereby neglecting the more significant industrial market opportunity, the one which is about to transform the entire global economy. It's all highly reminiscent of carriers' approach to 5G, where they goofed by prioritizing partial implementations of the standard intended to quickly boost consumer revenue instead of rolling out true cloud-native solutions that could open up new paths to revenue. Digital industrialization presents an everything-everywhere-all-at-once paradigm shift with vast revenue opportunities to match. Companies like AT&T and T-Mobile risk missing out unless they wake up to this impending transformation and start planning accordingly. If they don't, their current focus on the consumer market is going to relegate them to footnotes in the history of communications. Trash.